Hello there, Mr. Sutton here, bringing you this Pre-Cal Honors Chapter 9, Quiz 1 Review Solutions on Intuitive Limits. For this problem, we're trying to use this graph to find various limits and function values. So for Part A, we're asking about uh, limit as x approaches 0 from the left. In fact, all these questions, A through D, are asking about the properties at 0. So as we approach 0, that's the y-axis from the left side, we're heading toward the y value 3, so that's our limit at uh, 0 from the left. 0 from the right, we are also approaching 3 from the right side. And the two-sided limit then, since the left and the right agree, is also 3. Function value at 0, that is also 3. That just happens to be where the function is when you actually get to 3, or 0 for the x value. Uh, so that's also 3. For part E of this problem, We've got limit as x approaches negative 3, and we're first coming at that from the left. That's getting us to a y value of 2. Even though there's a discontinuity, a little hole here, that doesn't affect the limit, because we're approaching a 2 for the y value. And now as we approach negative 3 from the right side, still approaching 2 for the y value. So that means the two-sided limit at negative 3 is 2, because the left and the right limits agree on that. And then f of negative 3, well, since there's a hole there, well, the function is not actually defined there, so that's dne. For question i on this problem, we're approaching negative 8 now from the left first. Uh, so let's see, that is this asymptote right here. As we approach from the left side, we're going to positive infinity. As we approach from the right side, we're going down to negative infinity. Since we can't agree on even which type of infinity it is, uh, since in general the left and the right side don't agree, this is DNE. Now even if they agreed and we wrote a certain infinity, uh, it would still technically be does not exist, but you could be more specific by saying what direction it does not exist in. Um, but here, since we don't even agree on the direction, it's just a complete DNE. And now f of negative 8, well, since we've just got this asymptote and no solid dots anywhere on there, uh, that's going to come out to a DNE as well. For questions M through P on this one, we're talking about positive 2 now. As we approach the x value 2 from the left, we're going to positive infinity. As we approach from the right, we're still going to positive infinity. Since we can agree at least on which infinity we're going to, if you want, you could say the two-sided limit is positive infinity. You could also say it's DNE. Um, technically, that's true on all of these, but this is the most specific type of DNE. And now f of 2, uh, again, no solid dots on this asymptote, so this is DNE. For these four problem parts, we're dealing with the properties of this graph at 4, which is this weird little jump dot sort of thing going on here. So as we approach 4 from the left side for question Q now, we're heading toward the y value 1 here. So that's the limit as we approach 4 from the left. As we approach 4 from the right side, that's bringing us to this negative 2 open dot right here. As we approach 4 from both sides, well, the left and the right don't agree. Uh, so that means that this is DNE, does not exist. And then f of 4, that's the solid dot at the x value 4. That's right here. That has a value of negative 1. For these two questions, we're talking about n behavior with these limits approaching negative and positive infinity. For u, as x approaches negative infinity, we're moving to the far left side of the graph and asking what's happening as we keep going left. And with this arrow here, it looks like we're going up forever. Uh, so that would be positive infinity for that limit. And now for v, as x approaches positive infinity, so moving to the far right, We've got this horizontal asymptote at negative 3 as we move in that direction. Uh, so negative 3, then, would be our limit as x approaches infinity.